Hello everyone, this is Omar. Welcome to the channel. This is the continuation of our RSCSA practice exam series and we will be solving question number 4 in this video. So, uh, the question asks you to perform following task on node 01 as RSCSA 9 user. So, it is asking you to create a collaborative directory u slash u01 slash project 01 and group ownership of this uh, directory should be EMP GRP, which we already created in our previous videos. Uh, the directory should be readable, writable, writable and accessible to a member of EMP group. So EMP group member should be able to read, write and execute the five contents of this directory, but not to any other user. So only uh, EMP GRP group users will be having the access other than the owner. Uh, and it is also understood that the root has access to all the files and directory to the system. That means root will be the owner of the uh, content. Now the last part is tricky out here. The files created in slash 01 project 01 automatically have group ownership set to the EMP GRP group. So I will try to demo. This is a special, a special part. So I will try to demonstrate you how this will work. So let's begin with the as always, I have split the question into multiple sections. So we'll go one by one, step by step. So create a collaborative directory. So let's create a collaborative directory using this command. This is a normal MKDIR command. So we will create a collaborative directory. But I'm doing it as RSCSA 9 user. I'm using sudo MKDIR minus P flag. When you're creating any directory uh, structure, and if you are create if you are creating a long path for that directory, and if the parent directory don't exist, your command will fail. So if you want to create a directory structure including the parent directory if it is not there, so minus p flag is for that. So if you use minus p flag, it will create the parent directory uh, along with the child directory. So in our case, u01 does not exist, so we are using minus p flag. So the directory is created. Now it is asking you to set the permission on the directory. So the group ownership of this directory uh, should be EMP GRP and it should be readable, writable, accessible for EMP GRP and root should be the owner. So before we do anything, let's check the permission first on this directory that this directory is created with what permission. Alright, so when we create it, we use the sudo command to create this directory. That means we perform this action as a root. So when we perform this action as a root, the owner of this directory is root and the group ownership is also root group. Alright, so what, what we have to do is we have to make the changes out here. So let's go ahead and make the change. So the question was asking us to make the changes in this one, give the permission to EMP GRP as a group owner for this directory. So we will change that. Now we will check as you can see the owner is root but the group ownership is for EMP GRP. So any member who is uh, any user who is member of uh, EMP GRP group will be able to access this directory. Now it is also asking that the directory should be readable, writable and accessible to member of all the group. So right now if you if you uh, I have before I before I move forward, I'll remind you that all the reference document is there here. So if you don't understand the permissions, users and group permissions, I suggest you to go through this reference document, try to understand the permissions and then come back and solve this problem. If you already know the basics of it, you can go ahead and uh, continue with this video. So uh, what we have done, we have changed the ownership. And then it is asking to make this readable, writable, accessible for the EMP GRP group. But before we do that, let's understand the permission section out here. So the first character always, the first character always defined the type of the object, whether it is directory, file, blog device, or any other link. So this first character, so it is D, that means it's a directory. So we created a directory, so it indicates that it's a directory. Now, these three uh, are the permission for owner. The next three uh, is the permission of the group. And the last three is the permission for 
the others, anyone else. So in this directory, when you create it by default, it had the permission, this directory uh, owned by root, root has read, write, execute permission. EMP GRP has read and execute permit and permission and all other has read and execute permission. So uh, the directory should be readable to the member of EMP GRP but not to any other user. So there are two things they are asking. They are asking us to change the permission of the directory in a way that it should be owner is already the, it's not asking about the owner. So it's specifically asking, asking about to change the uh, permission for the group and the other. So we'll be working on for about for this one, these two, these sections, All right? So permission of the group and permission for the others. So what we will do, we will uh, we will change the we will keep the permission for the root owner as is. We'll change the permission for the uh, for the group and then we'll change the permission for others using this command. Now let's go back and check the permission again. As you can see the owner already has the group has read write and execute permission and we have removed the access from anybody else so anyone who is not member of emp grp group will not be able to access the this directory all right so we already checked this one now the next section is very tricky so uh, change the file created under created in slash u01 project automatically have the group ownership set to the EMP GRP. Now before that I will I will show you a small demonstration for example let's go to this directory I can't because I I am RSCSA 9 and I am not member of EMP GUA GRP group all right so let me switch the user as root first then I will because root is the owner I will go into this directory there is nothing here. So I will try to create one file root.txt and let's check the permission. So when I create it, I am in slash u01 project. When I created a file, the the ownership and the root and the group ownership for this file is root root because I am I have created this direct this file as root and my group is root so it will create like this but the question is asking you to do is uh, that files created in this group automatically have the owner uh, in this directory should automatically have the group ownership set to EMP GRP but that's not the case because you haven't made the changes I will show you how that works all right so let's try to understand this come on so now we are changing the mode of the, the permission mode for this directory for the group, right? So especially for these kind of uh, these kind of commands, I again request you to go to the reference document and then check if you don't know about this. One. So read about it. What are the special permissions? So we are changing the mode for the group uh, and adding a special permission on this directory. Now let's execute this command and see what is the effect of this command. All right, so if I go and say ls minus lt for this one, so if you see the permission, there is a minor change you will observe. This root root who is the owner read write execute, and this one has read write and s the character s small letter s. This means it has execute permission. This user this group has execute permission on this accessibility but it has special permission set to this one. Now what happens when, when we try to create the file now? So let's become root again, go to this directory, go to this directory. Previously before issuing that command, we created a file uh, and it had the ownership as root root. So let's create another file root after dot txt and now check the permission so if you see this if you observe the ownership is root emp grp is the group although root is not the member of it, that group but the ownership the group ownership is already set because we issued this command this is the effect of this command so this is what question is asking that anybody who has access to this this directory if they will create any file in that directory 
the group ownership will, will automatically be set to EMPGRP. Now we will exit from root and we will try to demonstrate this one for you. All right. So now we will try to verify the permission. So now we will log in as Monica. As you remember, we already created these users. So I asked you to keep them so that we will use it for the rest of the exercises. So see, user Monica has the permission. She can go inside the directory and she can check the content of the directory. Now what I am, I am as a Monica user and let me create these three files one by one. I create this file. I will tell you the reason why I'm creating more than one file in the later question. It will help us. All right. So I'm creating three files for Monica. Now let's check the ownership. And if you look at it, the owner, because I created this file as Monica, Monica is the owner and group ownership is already set to EMPGRP. Although if you check the ID, uh, Monica's primary group is HRGRP, but it, the, the primary group is not set to HRGRP because the directory permission we already set for this one is to have EMPGRP automatically set for any file created by the users. So this is the uh, verification. Now, what we will do, we will switch to Toby because user Toby is also a member of EMPGRP group. So we will go into this directory. These are the files created. We'll create a couple of files for user Toby and observe the permission set on those files. All right. So user Toby, the ownership is Toby, the group ownership is set. So we have solved this uh, question of automatically setting the group ownership uh, of the automatically have the group ownership set as EMPGRP on that directory. So this question is completed and we will go back and check. We will log out from Toby. Um, RSCSA is a sudo ls minus l slash 01 projects. If you see the permissions are there. All right, as, uh, as asked in the question. So uh, we have solved this question now. So again, I will request you to go through this documentation. If you want to read about it, if you want to know more about the special permission, please do visit this uh, reference documents and try to read more about it and understand the uh, concept behind it. So thank you for watching. Have a good day.